it start it start and in September September 18th I think, or or um 6 a.m. or 6 p.m.
already by one of the highest up Epic Games employees, the CCO, Donald Mustard, who's known for teasing things way in advance. Not only did he spill a ton of intel about another Galactus-like boss that will be upcoming for Chapter 3 Season 4, perhaps, but with this month's crew pack just being revealed, which we're also going to be covering, let's just say we're pretty confident as to what the theme of the next season could be, and if not, we already have a look at tons of skins that could be included throughout the Battle Pass on the Fortnite Skin Survey. Trust me, you don't want to miss any of this today, so take a few seconds out of your day to stick around and watch the full thing, because you've just also witnessed a mirror get smashed, which means seven years bad luck if you don't. However, very quickly before we dive into it all, one favour I ask of you guys, considering it takes two seconds and is 100% free to do, is enter my creator code FM13 digits inside the Fortnite item shop. You guys already know this not only puts a giant smile on my face, but cheers up my pug Gus too, who's been kind of sad about the fact he knows that 70% of all eyes watching right now are not subscribed. With that said, hit the big red button right now, as we're on our final push to 2.5 million or 2.5 million subscribers, and after all, it only benefits you as I do you different subscribers every single day. So if you ever want to receive something, simply make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on, and then comment your Epic Games ID down below and let me know what you like to receive, so perhaps you could be gifted like this on screen in front of hundreds of thousands of eyes to see in the next video. But with all that said, now enough messing around, there's so much Season 4 intel to dive into, so make sure, of course, you don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere! I'm not, I'm sitting on my don't back. Don't go anywhere! Okay, so firstly, it's important noting where it's a turning point now in the Fortnite storyline, having a huge live event where the imagined order seemingly got defeated, not only revealing us to Jenna, and despite us not knowing where the Foundation and Jones fled to in the Zero Point, this dimension to find Jenna or ultimately catch him, despite them being already in the Season 3 trailer back on the island, with there also again moments after this scene where they're back on the island, a new enemy emerging at the end of the Season 3 trailer, with so many new possibilities presented in terms of the direction for Fortnite's future as the storyline ultimately projects where it goes in terms of the map changes that occur or the live events that happen, including bosses. What if I told you Donald Mustard almost a year ago around the time of the Galactus or Nexus War live event, which we're going to be revealing a voice or audio clip for in just a second that, yeah, there would be a brand new Marvel boss upcoming and perhaps that's for Chapter 3 Season 4. As for those that don't know, as Echo stated in this tweet, we usually get correlations between themes of the season that's currently happening right now to the one in the prior chapter. For instance, as you can see on the image in a bigger form for Season 1 of each chapter, we got, well, a new beginning, then a war between factions for Season 2. Season 3 with them both being a chill or kind of summer vibes theme, does this then mean, as we got in Chapter 2 Season 4, an overall, like, complete entire Marvel season, this could be happening again? Well, for our second point, it looks like that could be the case, as Epic Games have not only, for those that don't know, been releasing a ton of Marvel comics called Fortnite X Marvel Zero War, which, by the way, in each comic book issue not only contains a free reward, the first one being the Spider-Man Zero outfit, which is relevant to the Fortnite crew pack skin that we're going to be revealing in just a second, but all of the other issues and their rewards are on screen right now, as there's six or five total issues, either way you'll be able to see from the tweets, and despite these comic books projecting the storyline more so in a cryptic or background manner, as not everybody will buy these or be able to follow along, as Fortnite have literally just announced this over on Twitter right now, Wolverine Zero drops into the Fortnite crew on August 1st, 2022, coming along with all the cosmetics and stuff you see on screen right now, the Battle Pass, if you haven't already got it, 1000 V-Bucks and everything to do with the outfit and their loading screen. On top of the facts off topic real quick too, for those that didn't see the announcement that Fortnite made that was basically teased in this tweet, we're also going to be getting very soon this particular harvesting tool which can be customised in terms of how it looks, whether it's singular or dual wield, and in terms of the colours that we can use in a neon form. With that meaning it's our last chance to get this particular Fortnite crew skin right now that will be rotating out on August 1st. As when this day arrives, this is what will be appearing on your Fortnite account if you're subscribed already, granted all the rewards or the skin set for Wolverine Zero onto your account. With us being already over 50% way complete through Chapter 3 Season 3, and with it being anticipated, we're not going to be seeing a live bet this season as we just saw a huge one for Collision in Season 2, and again correlating this Season 3 vibe into the last one of the prior chapter, Season 3 of Chapter 2, which was splashed out. We didn't see a live event then, then, rather so progressive map changes, which is kind of what we're seeing with the reality tree instead of the flood dying down. As this is also the last Fortnite crew pack before September, which ultimately is when Season 4 releases on the 17th when Season 3 ends, going straight into downtime. Perhaps this is an even bigger indicator for the most interesting point of the video that I'm going to be playing for you right now. The audio clip of Donald Mustard talking about future Marvel bosses and Galactus, believe it or not, despite him being the biggest boss we've ever faced in live event form, only being the beginning of Marvel's integrations in terms of live events and storyline in Fortnite Battle Royale for the years to come. So make sure you're listening out for the name that he mentions in particular as we discuss it soon after. The reason why we call it even this season Nexus War is this is just the start. This is the start of lots of stuff we have planned for many years in this Marvel integration. Like, this is not... 
This is not the end, this is the beginning. Even now, we're plotting out kind of what are some of the big, cool things that we're doing in, in the next year and the year after that. And um, So that's really it. I have so many favorite characters that's going to take years to get them all in, in, into this world. Modoc is amazing, and so it's really just thinking like, again, it has to all be in an authentic way. So it's like, if Modoc learned that there was a slice of reality where Fortnite exists, and, and you don't have enough context yet, and the players don't have enough context yet of what's actually going on in, in the world of Fortnite, but I think Modoc would be very interested in what's going on there, and, and maybe there's a way he plays into it. So you literally heard it there. He went on about a character called Murdoch from the Marvel Universe multiple times, obviously kind of comparing it to the boss-like form Galactus took and visited the Fortnite realm. And with him referring to what's happening years down the line with this already in mind as an idea, considering it's been like over a year now at the very least since Chapter 2 Season 4 and with us approaching again Chapter 3 Season 4, with the correlation between themes and chapters being the same each season as the prior chapter, just like Dollar Mustard says, it's not only just the beginning of the Marvel Inter integrations in the Fortnite lore, but as he compares him to Galactus, learning about if there's a slice of reality within the Fortnite universe to devour or harness. It's very possible we could be seeing him as an upcoming live event boss like Galactus in the Nexus War live event, but for Chapter 3 Season 4. It's unknown as of now if we're going to be seeing an entirely Marvel-based season again because there's so many Marvel skins that have already came to the game now, so I think it would be hard to make an entire battle pass up of predominantly just Marvel characters, but for our next point, as you guys know, we've already got a ton of skins revealed to us that either could be in upcoming battle passes, and this is all thanks to the unreleased skins on the Fortnite surveys that literally have been upcoming so many plucked off of these since they initially came about. As an example, here's the current Fortnite crew pack when I'm recording this video for July in concept form versus well, the real one. And then of course on top of that we actually have a new upcoming bundle in October actually kind of indicating why this could be returning for Fortnite Mares again. As the anime legends pack not only includes this anime version of Midas, which obviously is around Halloween, but again before it was even announced it was right in front of our eyes here on these Fortnite skin surveys. And speaking of what's most interesting to me and we know is going to be upcoming Coming soon as we had the Origin and the Sisters on here before they were released in the Season 2 Battle Pass. Again, this character at the end of the Season 3 trailer, for those that don't know, which I would have called either the Bloom Watcher or the Bloom Queen. Let me know your favourite name for her down below in the comments. There's one particular skin on these surveys that actually kind of replicates or matches her as if she's going to be upcoming very soon. It's unknown as of now when she's going to be directly integrated or involved in the Fortnite storyline as more of a forefront also, kind of like Jenna. And with us knowing Jenna isn't this particular character right now who seems to be ranking above Dr. Slow, but not quite as high as Jenna in these particular screenshots that Fortnite have released. It's safe to say we're in a very interesting spot now for the future of Fortnite, despite things being quite quiet with Epic Games currently being on vacation. Regardless, if you're excited for Season 4 or enjoyed today's video, slap a like in it down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned Okay, so you guys heard what he said. You guys heard clearly what he said. I'm gonna have to pause the... I'm gonna have to... In the video right here, I have gave you guys enough links for spoils. Goodbye. I am so sorry I couldn't show more, but I'm going to have to end this video.